Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are going to show you how to access vintage mode in the MPC Live. As always, same applies for the MPCX. So with that said, let's begin. All right, now if you can see I'm in main mode, this is gonna be a really simple short tutorial because it's really easy how to do it, right? So there are a couple different ways that you can put vintage mode on stuff that you're doing in your project. One, you can put it on the whole project. The way you would do that is you're gonna click this gear wheel up here. It's gonna take you to preferences, right? All right, and then from there, we're gonna go all the way down to other right there. All right, and notice for, you have your different options for tap tempo, flash tap, flash tap tempo, all this other stuff. Down here you see vintage mode and it's set to none right now. So let's say if I want to put it on MPC 3000, boom, that's all I have to do. Now it's saved on the entire project and when I export it onto my desktop, it's still saved. You can do that or in this case, I'll put it on MPC 60, right? So that's one way you can put vintage mode on your entire project. Another way to do it is to do it by program. So let's say we have the program right here and we want to put vintage mode on this program. You click this I button again right here. That reveals the program, the name of it, the outputs it's using, the meter, all that. Then you can go to your inserts. There's no effect on this program. So all we have to do, I use my jog wheel to open this up, press the touch screen, and then go down. Click MPC 3000 or MPC 60 in this case. Boom, so that's the second way. So the first two ways to recap, first you can put vintage mode on the entire project like we did here. The second way, you can put vintage mode on a program. And then the third way, you can put vintage mode on something you're sampling. So all you would have to, get, all you would have to do is go here, no effect. So we're gonna scroll down, put MPC 60, and then once we press record, anything that comes into it in terms of audio is going to be filtered with that MPC 60 uh, vintage mode capacity. So those are three ways that you can use vintage mode as you're using your MPC Live or your MPC X. And like I said, these settings will still stay even when you export it to desktop or if you open it up somewhere else. So with that said, that's the end of this. Uh, <laughs> That's the end of this tutorial. This is Drum Machine Addict signing out. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. We'll see you next week. Peace.